we obtained a search warrant after a complaint of neglect on the animals here. The raid at this notorious Southwest Missouri puppy mill seized more than 200 dogs and a tiger. The living conditions are just, they're horrible. The fate of those animals has gained national attention. The dogs appear to be sick, they're not being taken care of. What has not been reported until now is how the Missouri Department of Agriculture helped dog breeder Jewel Bond stay in business even though it believed she was unable to care for her dogs. It's just unacceptable. John Hagler is the recently appointed director of the Missouri Department of Agriculture. We don't want to put someone who's having trouble uh, following the law and give them an opportunity to also get right back in the business of being a lawbreaker. But that's exactly what happened. Since 1993, federal inspectors have cited Bond for repeated violations, including unsanitary conditions, not having bedding for dogs, rusty cages, and no heat for some animals during freezing temperatures. The U.S. Department of Agriculture took away her federal license and twice fined her thousands of dollars. Year after year, violation after violation. Animal welfare activist Kim Townsend gave us records showing that the Missouri Department of Agriculture wasn't nearly as tough as the USDA. Nobody watching, nobody caring. In 2007, after threatening to close her kennel, the Missouri Department of Agriculture chose to work out a deal with Bond that allowed her to surrender her dogs, put them up for auction, and collect $28,000 from the sale. The bill from the sale obtained from the Department of Agriculture through an open records request shows Bond spent $3,400 buying her own dogs back at the same auction. Some of those dogs are believed to be among the ones seized just a few weeks ago. How does something like that happen? To tell you the truth, I, I don't know how it happens, but it is the very same question that I ask our department. Animal welfare groups say Bond also bought dogs at other auctions. She was at every dog auction buying dogs. The Department of Agriculture is often at those dog auctions. They know what she looks like. They knew she was there buying dogs. So if they're claiming ignorance, it's their own fault. They turn a blind eye. We appreciate the issues that you brought to light. Horrible conditions for the animals. We want to do better than that. I think we can do better than that, and we will do better than that. Jewel Bond was facing prosecution two years ago, but avoided charges by surrendering her dogs. Bond will not profit from the raid that happened last month. Those dogs are at the Humane Society and she has been charged in this case. Craig Cheatham, News 4 Investigates.